What's up YouTube? It's Chris with Murphy Firearms Training. I have got a 357 Magnum load from Federal. This is a Barnes Expander Federal Premium Lead Free 140 grain. Okay, so it's an all copper Barnes bullet. And I want to compare it to the Liberty Civil Defense 357 Magnum 50 grain fragmenting hollow point that's rated at 2100 feet per second. This one on the left is rated at 1400 feet per second. I have never been a fan of exotic bullets, and so what I want to do is I want to put these two head-to-head -head in the book test. I found that paper is one of the most difficult mediums to penetrate, so we're going to shoot at textbooks and see which one penetrates deeper and what the wound cavities look like. Both will be fired from this Ruger SP-101 stainless steel 2.25-inch carry gun. So let's set up and see what happens. All right, guys, we're set up. We, these books have been used previously. We're going to go top left and top right. Top left will be the Federal with the Barnes projectile. Top right will be the Liberty Civil Defense. I've got two books set up. These should not exit the first book, but just in case. So here goes. We're going to be up close and personal at about three yards. Let's give it a shot. Federal. Now the Liberty Civil Defense, here it goes. Okay. Just as a point of comparison, the Liberty has way less recoil because it's a 50 grain projectile. Here are our hits. This will be the 357 Magnum Barnes 140 grain copper. And this is the Liberty Civil Defense. Let's tear into this and see where we went so looks uh pretty amazing honestly i said these wouldn't exit the first book but it looks like they did so um through and through for both projectiles which is absolutely amazing for that 50 grainer uh, i would have never believed a 50 grain projectile could go through an entire textbook that's why we set up a second one that's amazing so that entire book, both projectiles went all the way through. So here's our Federal Copper, and here's our Liberty. Let's tear into this second book and see where these go. So got it open, and we're going to start turning pages and see. And it looks like here is our Liberty. So not too deep into the second book. It did clog, but wow, look at that. Uh, and the Federal is still going. Let's make sure it didn't go out the back. It did not, but um, that's impressive. So there's where I found the Liberty. And that many more pages, there's where I find the Federal. Also clogged, also quite warm. And you see the Liberty's damage is kind of petering out, and the Federal's is still pretty, pretty solid there. Let's just compare. So Liberty's pretty much quit, and the Federal 140 grain is still tearing pretty good. Liberty has quit. There's nothing there other than just a little tiny, I don't know if you guys can even see that, but a little tiny mark that you can feel with your hand. Uh, nothing. Liberty's gone. Federal's still digging. I'm, I'm impressed. I can't believe that's almost two books out of a snub nose. So we're pretty much to nothing here. So um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm impressed by this Liberty. Uh, if you had told me that this 50 grain projectile would penetrate almost as deep as this 140, I thought neither of these would make it through the first book. And I knew for sure when they both made it out of the first book, this one would be near the front and this would be near the back. I mean, I thought there's no way. Those are pretty close, folks. Uh, I mean, there's probably, if you go back into this book and find, okay, where does the Liberty pretty much stop making a mark? So let's call, let's call it somewhere around here. There's pretty much just a little scratch on the page. That's page 405. And if we go to where the 140 grainer is like that, we're at page, you know, 580 something. So, I mean, you're looking at 150, 180 page difference. Um, and that's 140 versus a 50 grain. That's impressive, y'all. The, the penetration of this little 50 grain projectile really impresses me. Um, I would not have believed that if I didn't see it myself. So anyway, I don't know if that helps you guys or not. If you like exotic ammo... Um, and you're you're concerned that you know maybe it won't penetrate as well. Um, that's just impressive to me. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, a 357 Magnum out of a snub nose will go through an entire book and most of the way through a second one actually. Whereas nine millimeters typically are stopped in the first book. So um, 
big difference between calibers there, folks. Hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see, and thanks for watching.